This is what we live for. This is what we work hard for. Okay, we ain't giving it up. We are not freaking giving this up. You gotta freaking fight. You gotta fight. Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies, man. We're going to knock these questions and answers out. Uh, I got about 15 right here, so this shouldn't take too, too long. But we'll see how far this goes. Uh, man, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video, and you'll see more um, you know, videos from the channel. But we'll st jump right into this with Ryan McGuire. With the O-line and receivers we have now, do you think Aaron Brooks, I think that means would do, with this team now or the previous few years? Honestly, um... I'm not going to say too, too much. Uh, obviously, with this defense, um, he wouldn't have to do a lot. Wouldn't have to be a, a great, great quarterback. He can use his mobility, things like that, to win some games. Man, if Taysom Hill can win some games with his feet and uh, barely throwing the ball, I watched Mac Jones this year win a game throwing three passes. I think Aaron Brooks would have been fine. I don't think we would have been, you know, any contenders or anything like that. But I think it would have been cool just because the defense is so elite, he wouldn't have been asked to do too, too, too much. And the second part is, do you think Drew Brees could have, had success with some of the other past Saints teams? Absolutely not. Um, the teams would have been better, but those teams were awful. Every position was awful, basically, before 2006. No, it's not a chance. It's just not a chance. It was one good year with Jim Hazlitt that we went to the playoffs. But other than that, absolutely not. And will you make a visual video with you and rather than just audio? Great t content. Love them either way. Soon, 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 soon. I'm going to get a new webcam, man. The webcam I got is, is super, super old. I've done it a couple times. If you go look at some of my old videos, it, my I have a, a video cam on there sometimes. But it's going to become a, a everyday thing soon, 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 soon. Kyle Davis, what offense and defense a free agent would you give this would give this team a chance to go further in the postseason? Keep grinding. Um, Right now, I'll say Jarvis Landry probably on offense, defense. Mm, it'll be a D-tackle. It'll be a D-tackle. I'm going to make a special video on that, but I would say uh, a D-tackle. I know uh, Akeem Hicks, Goldman's name has been thrown out there, but it'll definitely be a, a D defensive tackle because we're set basically everywhere else. Cam Armstrong. This is easy, my boy. Who's your favorite Saints player of all time? He's not just my favorite Saints player. He's been my favorite football player of all time ever since about 2004, 2005. That is Reggie Bush. Um... When we drafted him, I honestly, quick story, I didn't even watch the draft. I was 100% sure that the Houston Texans were going to take Reggie Bush. Um, I think, I don't know how old I was at the time. So I didn't even watch the draft. We had the number two picks. I just knew we were going to take Mario Williams. So I was mad already, mad at the world, went to sleep, woke up the next morning for school. My mom was like, the Saints took some running back or something like that. I said, excuse me? She's like, yeah, they took a running back. I don't know where he was from. I never tried to check. You know, internet wasn't the same back then, boy. So I, once I checked and saw we took Reggie Bush, probably one of the happiest days, you know, being a Saints fan. Just my favorite player of all time. Even though it didn't work out as it should have, still a, still a great player for us and my favorite player ever. Chad Robbins, after seeing film on undrafted free agent wide receivers, should the Saints, Saints still pursue Jarvis Landry or roll what they got and focus on more running back and linebacker free agents? Honestly, you always want to get better. You always want to get better. So, as even though I like Rasheed, um, Chris Olave, and things like that, and we got uh, MT Callaway, you should always want to get better. Competition always brings out the best, and injuries will happen. So, yes, I think we still should pur pursue Jarvis Landry for the right price, I may add. Uh, and I still think we should pr uh, pursue more running backs and linebackers and free agents. So, for sure, for sure, for sure, you always want to get better. If your number three guy can be your number four guy, your number four guy, you know, a receiver can be your number five guy. That's always better. Mitchell Milano, would you want to see us bring Akeem Hicks or Eddie Goldman to fill in that nose tackle spot? I just mentioned this. Absolutely. You want to get better. Do you think those guys are better than Shy Tuttle? I do. So if you can get him in, Akeem Hicks, you know, he's a crazy man. He needs to be checked for something, but he's but he's a good football player. So, hey, if you think those guys are better than um, Shy Tuttle, Contavia Street, and some other guys we have at defensive tackle, then why not? You always want to get better. So I'm, uh, I would definitely do that. Tyler Thomas, how did you learn to break down film? What's your background? Hmm, interesting question. Um, I mean, I played football growing up. Um, 
that's that's really about it. And I just I just understand football more than most, in my opinion. I'm not, you know, on my high horse or anything like that. But it's just easy for me. Uh, I see things. That's why it's hard to watch games sometimes. I don't watch games with people a lot because they start saying stuff that isn't true and it, it kind of makes me upset. That's why I kind of only watch football games by myself or with people that kind of know know what they're watching, you know. Or why the quarterback under throw him for three yards? And I'm like, oh, he actually ran an incorrect route. He should have been three yards in. And like it's it's just it's just so much. But, man, I just I just love football. I've been watching it since I was born. Even when the Saints sucked, when no one wanted to watch the Saints, I always watch the Saints, always watch football. Football will be on my TV as fo- if football is on college. Uh, arena football, I'm watching it. That's just kind of how I get down. Josiah Montoya. Interesting. Uh, what are your prediction on receptions and yards for Michael Thomas and Chris Olave? Mm, interesting. I don't know if Michael Thomas is still 100%. I would assume he is. Um, I'm just going to assume both of them are healthy all year, 17 games. I think uh, Michael Thomas would have more catches, obviously. I think he's going to be in the, the 110 range, um, probably 1,200 yards, eight, eight to nine touchdowns. Chris Olave, I'll put him at like 80-something catches, but maybe 1,400 yards, maybe more touchdowns than MT because Jameis Winston likes to throw it deep. Olave is going to be taking the top off the defense, so he's definitely going to have more yards than MT if they're both healthy, but MT will have more catches, you know, in the intermediate game and stuff like that. Who that talking? Everybody been saying that they have a video of Chris Olave and Michael Thomas doing all-season workouts. Could you find it and post it? Um, I would look for it. I haven't seen it at all, but if it's there, I want to see it for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I've never heard that. I didn't see that, so I must have missed that one. I'll definitely look for it and, and see what that is because uh, if they have video of them two working out, I definitely want to see that. Should they be – Josh DePel's fan, my bad, my bad. Should they be a camp battle between Taylor and Adebo? Please say no. Well, absolutely hell not. A, a battle for what, I may add? Um, for a starting job? Come on now. No offense to a Taylor. A Debo had a great rookie season. This is no battle. This is this is nonsense. I don't know if that's a, a thing going around, but no, that's a Debo's job. He's cornerback too. Taylor's gonna have to fight to get on the field. Forget being a battle with a Debo. He's gonna be a fight to get playing time. So yeah, that's a no for me. Elite Goods, LLC. <laughs> he always does this. When you're gonna be a coach or something, part of the team? <laughs> Question mark. Hey man. Tell him call me. Tell him hit me up in the email. I'm I'm ready. No, I'm just playing. I couldn't be a coach of this team. I keep it too real sometimes, man. They probably wouldn't like that. But, uh, hey, man, who knows when I'm going to be a coach or, or whatever, man. I'm just day by day with this thing right here. The future. It's crazy you asked a question about the future. Where do you think Sean Payton will go to next, Cowboys? That's just, I mean, that's it. It is what it is. McCarthy, he's not he's not that guy over there. He's going to be a Cowboy. The Cowboys want him. Jerry Jones probably going to write him a blank check, and I think he's just going to end up being at the Cowboys. Uh, That's just how I see it. Josh DePel's fan again. Should Trevor Penning start over James Hurst? I'm going to say yes and no. Absolutely. Uh, He should be the left tackle. If, if that's the options, he should start over James Hurst. But my question is, do you think – James Hurst is good enough to start that tackle, and if so, then Trevor Penny should replace Cesar Ruiz. That could be a battle as well. If you think James Hurst is too good as a Saints, you know, a Saints coaching staff, whatever, if you think James Hurst is that good to start over Penny, then you have to move Penny to guard, and then now we're looking like a, a real, real offensive line. And hey, we'll see. But I think Penny's going to start that left tackle, honestly, and they're just going to keep the line uh, Penny, Pete, McCoy, Ruiz, and then Ramchick. Josh the Pell fan again. What do the Pelicans do with Kyra Lewis Jr.? Honestly, I think they give him another shot, give him another year, bring him back. Um, hopefully, he's healthy. You know, uh, we honestly what we did, where we were missing on this team was we didn't have a change of pace point guard. Everyone, CJ, he kind, he's kind of slow. Uh, Alvarado, he's not. I'm not gonna call him slow, but he's not a, a push the pace guy. You know, grab that rebound and just go. Uh, and obviously, when Zion gets back. You're going to want that, man, the pace. You know, you uh, don't want to do, be in half court all of the time. That's one of the Pals' biggest issues, man. I felt like we were in half court too much uh, in the playoff series against the Suns. Need to push that pace a little bit. Kyle Lewis can definitely do that, man. Hopefully he can come back and he get to play under Willie Green. He didn't, haven't really got the chance to do that. So I think they bring him back, man, and see what he can do uh, with this new staff, with this new team, basically. Uh, and we'll go from there. And last but not least, Bear, do you play football in real life? I did. I did. 
uh, in high school, I played football, played receiver, played wide receiver. Um, that's why if you ever see a receiver getting drafted to the Saints or anything, I'll be the first to jump on it. I'll cover receivers to the end of my life. Uh, so, yeah, man, I played receiver. Um, I was a good receiver. Um, we'll just keep it at that. I was, I was solid. I was, I was solid, in my opinion. But, man, hey, that'll wrap this up, man. I appreciate all the questions. We're going to do this maybe once a month or something like that. Uh, probably won't do it weekly. But I do like doing this, man. Hey, like I said, man, you can ask any question you want. Uh, you can ask more questions in the comments, honestly, and I might answer them there. But you can ask any question you want. We get pals. We get Saints. We get LSU. You get personal. I'll answer to the to best of my abilities. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, but, yeah, man, as always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.